welcome to a Sundrench Brewery field as the 1819 football season approaches a thrilling conclusion. Title chasing Charlie are the visitors today who can actually clinch the title and with it automatic promotion to the National League if they better stop Ford's result this afternoon. But it's far from just the Charlie show today, there's plenty still at stake for a hungry Spenny Moor town side. The Moors are three points behind Brackley Town with two games to go. Saints occupy the last playoff by position in third, which would see them skip to the first round of the playoffs. A position Jason Ainsley's men will be chasing right down to the final game away to Kirsch Nash on Saturday. Spenny Moor line up by this today. Gold and goal. Williams, Brogan, Thackeray and Harrison in defence. Henry, Chandler, Paul, Hawkins and Ramshaw make up the midfield with top scorer Glenn Taylor up top. Substitutes are Chris Elliott, Jake Hibbs, Jack Diamond. County must win and hope that Spennymore can do them a favour as they take on league leaders Chorley this afternoon. The Hatters then line up with Ben Hinchliff in goal. It's a back four of Adam Thomas playing at right back. Ash Palmer and Jamie Stott at centre-halves, Scott Duxbury at left-back. Paul Turnbull will play just in front of them with Elliot Osborne to his right and Sam Walker to his left. And Matty Warburton, 12 games without a goal, plays in the hole behind a front two of Frank Mulhern and Jake Kirby. An aggressive 4-4-2 formation from Jim Gannon today. Substitutes for county goalkeeper Ian Ormson, but then it's a pretty aggressive bench. Sam Minihan, Jordan Keane, Darren Stevenson and Jason Gilchrist completing the subs for today's fixture. Will County be top of the table again by five o'clock tonight? Or will it be another case of heartbreak for the Hatters? We're underway at Edgley Park. So Curzon Ashton playing the ball forward through Chris Rowney, the midfielder, former Oldham Athletic man. Wide on that left-hand side is Luke Wall. Keep it in play, and he's worked the ball brilliantly through a tightest of gaps as the Hatters very hesitant at getting it clear. Jake Kirby caught in possession and a shot into the side netting from John McAtee, who's on loan. And we're underway here at the brewery field in the opening exchanges as Charlie looked to try and get forward. And then it's blasted off the chest of Glenn Taylor. It's all gone very scrappy all of a sudden here. Rumshaw and Hall doing some rapping, trying to win it back. Here's Rumshaw approaching the edge of the He's going to shoot from 30 yards. Great effort, good save. Pat Irwin dives away to his left-hand side and scrambles around the post, but a wonderful hit from Rob Ramshaw from about 30 yards out. Yeah, it was a shot that was kind of in slow motion. It just travelled through the air. The keeper had a long time to have a look at it, but... Spenny Moore against Chorley, it's a corner to County, it's Turnbull to take, it'll be a right-footed in-swinger. Stop making the move to the far post, it's gone beyond into Palmer! Yeah! Ash Palmer drills it into the top corner, the keeper got his hand to it, but it was too hot to keep out. County have made the breakthrough, just five and a half minutes on the clock. Ash Palmer, the goal scorer, County one, Curzon nil, and Chorley will be feeling the pressure. County have scored. Well, that's what we said. All the little things, everything's got to go our way. We've got to take an early lead. We've got to hope for a spending more goal. We've done our bit. Now, stop poor County. Look, too hot to handle these first few minutes of the game. Every man sticking to his task. And now, County are applying the pressure. And Stockport have just taken the lead there you against Curzon National. Looking to ruin Chorley's party. Chandler's deep ball at the back post here. He's peeled off. It's knocked down into the penalty spot. And Newby shoots straight at Matt Gold. That was a chance. Good little peel off from Josh Wilson at the back post. The long haired striker. He's just nodded it down at the penalty spot. And a nice hit on the turn from. Now to just moving the ball around now. Just, just reaffirming their status in this game uh, as the dominant team. Just everybody getting in touch again. Getting the ad uh, adrenaline back under control. Because there's still a long way to go. You can't let it get to your head. But. My word, what an early goal this for you. It's positivity all around now. The players have looked so much more confident in running at Curzon Ashton. Thomas on the front foot finds Mulhern. Mulhern down the inside right channel. Challenged by the defender, but comes back out to Thomas who crosses. Laid off then by Walker. It's still loose inside the area. Kirby across the face of goal and just wide of the bar. The rule, I'm not sure. Oh, the newbies. The newbies. The newbies? The newbies. New it's either the newbies or the newbies. Here is Andrew Teague, who looks long. Scott Harrison in charge though. Oh, and Hall's blocked the clearance. Hall could be thrown goal. He's in the box. Right hand side. Ryan Hall straight. But Matt Irwin. It was a good chance that. A big chance, chance for Spenny Moore. Perhaps it should be one up. Not, not to try and uh, break down other games too much, but one thing I was really impressed with when Spenny Moore came here was the effectiveness of the wide players. Now, County, I don't really think utilised. Um, it was just a, a long clearance, by the way, from Mason. And 
with the wind at his back. It bounced on the edge of the county penalty area and Hinchliffe back pedalling. He's had to tip that over the bar. County will build again from the back as he plays it to the goal scorer. Palmer squares it now for Stott on his final appearance for County. So Lone is up after today's game. His long diagonal is too long. County win it back though. Thomas. Palmer. Thomas again on the right hand side. Mulhern comes short. Thomas still going. Finds Mulhern now. Lays it off to Warburton. Warburton. He's got three for company, but he you wouldn't know it. He works the ball brilliantly to Kirby. Kirby down the inside right. Crosses to Warburton! His first goal in 13 games. And that has exercised the demons. Matty Warburton doubles County's lead. 25 minutes gone. It's County 2, Curzon 0. What a relief and a scream from Matty Warburton as he glances in at the near post and puts County two goals in front of Curzon Ashton. Like you say, John, he's exercised the demon there. It meant so much to him. He's just put his hands on his face and looked to the sky then to say it's over. He's finally got rid of that. He's back amongst the goals and just, at, well, I mean, exactly at the right time moving forward. Puts more pressure on Chorley, who I'm guessing round about now will hear that County have gone 2-0 up. A bit wide, but the ball was bubbling really badly on the pitch there for him. He just wouldn't settle down and... Ramshaw with a deep cross, Taylor peeling off at the back post, he's hit a back cross, and somehow, somehow it wasn't turned in by the marauder in Hawkins, who made a really good run actually from midfield to support Taylor, it's a lovely little nut down from Taylor, and it's just bounced practically on the goal line. Calm the nerves even further, County with a cushion, in uh, midway through the first half. The corner's loose inside the box, the shot from... Ash Palmer, I think it may have struck the back of Jake Kirby, a combination of Kirby and Thornley inside the six-yard box. And Ash Palmer again, very close to scoring his second and County's third. That's Matty Warburton. There he is. And like you say, if County can get a third, we could have easily got a third from that corner then. If County can get another one now, that lets Chorley know that County are coming back and it's not over yet. Duxby's cross, it'll come through to Adam Thomas, who drives it over the bar. He had time to pick his spot. He looked disappointed with himself. Senior to take, former FC United man. County hunting in packs to win it back. And the counter-attack is on for County. Mulhern plays it out to the left side of the box for Matty Warburton, who gets it onto his right foot. He can't shoot from there, but he's got a chance to find Turnbull into the path of Thomas. Thomas wide right now. Turnbull still in support. Turnbull will cross from the corner of the box, looking for the far post, the header into the area now for Mulhern who'll tee it up for Walker to drive it what a brave block that is by Chris Rowling out to Brogan who can advance down the left hand side for Spenny Miller Hawkins dinks it over the top Ramshaw's made a great run he's into the box can he hit it first time he's reversed it here's Ryan Hall can he hit it with his left it's going to go far for Taylor good save and Brogan hit the post everyone thought it was in the crowd was up off the face of the post it was Brogan with his right foot on the volley he's Chandler keeping it alive though for Spenny Miller back to Williams deliver it Callum it's gone down the line instead to Ryan Hall who's lost it it wasn't a great it wasn't the right pass from Callum Williams there and Moors have had some chances here how are they not ahead here's Newby now into the channel for Carver to chase Thackeray's got to get there and he does with a really good tackle Chris Thackeray a superb challenge on the edge of his own penalty area the great save initially from Matt Irwin there, from Taylor's strike, but as soon as Brogan hits that shot, I mean, I'm already fist pumping there. I, I, thought, we, I thought the ball was about to hit the back in there, but so unlucky for Spenny Moore. A great bit of play, we just seem to be getting... In swinging corner for County to defend. Into to the flurry of bodies and Ben Hinchley with a very good fist to get it clear. And now the counter-attack's on for the Hatters. It's 3v3 as County break. Matty Warburton leading the charge. Not the best of balls to Kirby. But Kirby stroked it back out to the other side for Osborne. Osborne taking on Senior. It's Osborne and it's wide. It's Jamie Stock to uh, take up a position here, though. To play it short to Walker. To change the angle of attack. Walker into feet for Kirby. Kirby's got support from Duxbury. He'll cross first time. It's Mulhern, he's onside, there's no flag as he lays it off to the edge of the box for Turnbull! Saved by the legs of the goalkeeper. It's a good slave in the end by Cameron Mason. Turnbull denied, but County will come again. It's Osborne down the right-hand side of the penalty area, twisting and turning to get away from McJanet. There are two added minutes at the end of this first half. Warburton clips it into the box and it's cleared by 
the number seven Lewis Wardle up to halfway the hat is so unlucky not to be three in front all we can pray for now is for Spennymore to do the hat as a huge huge favour and uh, did the, uh, the Chorley Express that has been uh, riding high all season they've not been outside the top two since the opening week of the campaign here's Duxbury down the left hand side taking on two defenders he draws the challenge from senior it comes out to Sam Walker though Walker back to Duxbury Duxbury holding off the challenge again finding Elliot Osborne it's a great turn from Osborne on the edge of the box was he tripped inside the area the referee had a good look at it Osborne went to ground the referee shakes his head he might have been better staying on his feet. Jim Gannon is agreeing with Elliot Osborne, though. He thinks it should have been a penalty. Where they can deliver left-footed. It'll be Adam Blakeman to take with his left foot, you'd imagine. Newby stepped away from it. Blakeman just deliver right to the penalty spot. And it's headed down by Wilson, and it bounces just wide of the left post. I think Matthew Ward will just show him. Turnbull. He's just taken that right at the side of the face, but he's... He's won the ball back for County very bravely and the Hatters are on the charge. It's Warburton to strike from distance on his left foot. Never really got hold of it, but it stays 2-0 to count. Almost definitely now you would say going to go down to the last day. Well, Chorley and County currently both locked on 79 points at the top of the table in the live league table. Only goal difference is uh, putting Chorley in front. Here's uh, Osborne down the right wing at the Cheadle end, finding Mulhern. His cross is deflected away from the penalty area, but County still have it with Sam with uh, Scott Duxbury. Duxbury's going to go for goal here, and it hits the fullback and comes to Mulhern. Brave goalkeeping by Mason. He makes the block. Mulhern denied, and it stays 2-0 to the Hatters. I think Harrison yeah. and, and Thackeray have been superb. I think Thackeray is, out of all of our centre-halves, really... Yeah, he's, quite, he's made a real statement, really, yeah. with well positioned. He's got his chances, yeah. Because yeah. he's the most mobile of the centre-halves, and he plays the ball. Well, that's a great burst of pace. Right hole, he's got away from the defender. He's in the box. Can he finish? Great save. It's going to tumble in. Oh, it's clear off the line. Wow. Great burst, Ryan Hall. He made up 10 yards on, I think it was, Courtney Mitten Walters on the right-hand side. And the, the second favourite all day to get the ball, but he made up. Great little burst and he got there ahead of everyone. Threw on goal. The defenders couldn't touch him or it was a penalty. One on one on the right hand side, exactly where he scored against the winner against York on Friday from. And on his left foot, he's just trying to prod it underneath the on Russian matter. County knowing that it's only goals at the moment that's keeping them off the top. They've got to go in search of more. Mulhern, little flick with a back of the heel there, didn't quite come off, and Rowley's cleared it. Thornley's hurt though. I think uh, the studs of Frank Mulhern's boot may have just caught him there. Here come County again, though, with Duxbury firing one in. He's clipped the top of the crossbar. I'm not sure what he was trying to do from there. He to get away from Wilson. Super cool head, Chris Thackeray. Just what was re required there. I've been it's impressed with him. Really well played, that actually. Spenny with a goal finds Henry. Henry looking to ping one out Ryan. Oh, it's a wonderful pass. Beckham like over the right hand side. Henry, can he cut back? Look at Ramshaw on the edge. He's found him. Ramshaw, can he hit it first time? Takes a touch inside the area. He stood up. He's all on the spin. Oh, inches wide. Inches. How has it not gone in today for, for Spenny Moore? Appealing for a corner there. They're appealing for a corner, Hall and Chandler. Mr. Parsons is unmoved to goal kick. He didn't hit it clearly, Ryan Hall, did he? Kind of scuffed the effort and just in slow motion, just caused one. Yeah, I've just seen Jason Gilchrist walking up down there. You that would be the spot. Is he going to be that? Yeah, is he going to find that? Because at the moment, County, they are getting a lot of balls into the box, but they're not getting a great deal of success. Well, he was on his knees then, but he's picked himself up to get a shot in. And Stevenson, from five yards out, has missed a simple, simple chance. Look like one of those days where we won't see a goal. Yeah, although Moose have had some good chances. And Hall, who's had a couple of them, chasing down Leather. My fall from the box here, Hall. He's kept it alive. Overhead kick from Taylor. Oh, it's a good goal. He's hit the post that's bounced on the goal line and took to away. Oh, that would have been something special. How was that not going in there? And Taylor just, thinks it went over the line. Yeah, He's I thought it was with the linesman. They were. It's a flying head height volley from Taylor and it's bounced off the post and it's bounced on the goal line there's an argument that it might have gone over the line we'll have to see the replay later on what an it acrobatic effort from Taylor he's so unlucky 
marketer support, county support, just been growing and growing as the belief that there might be something special happening in SK3 has also been growing. Here's Matty Warburton glancing the ball on to Mulhern, who holds it up nicely. Has support from Osborne, coming in off the left. He plays a lovely reverse pass then to Mulhern, who's inside the area. Mulhern, the goalkeeper, bats it away. Stevenson couldn't get there. Turnbull does. Takes it away then from Sam Walker, who was just about to pull the trigger, and the move breaks down completely. Cut inside from the left, which is what he likes to do, and was favoured right foot. Oh, well, the referees give a penalty to Charlie. And again, arguable. Jamie Chandler's not happy with it. It's a penalty to Charlie. The ball is lobbed forwards. Thackeray's, Thackeray's got to clear the ball. And the ever present Marcus Carver's just nicked it away from him. Thackeray's followed through as if he was going to clear the ball anyway and brought him down inside the area. It's a penalty to Charlie at the brewery field. And it's a great chance to break the deadlock for the visitors. Chorley have a penalty up in the northeast. It's still nil-nil, but Chorley have a penalty up at Spennymore. Spennymore nil, Chorley nil, but the Magpies have a penalty. Meanwhile, County have a free kick here. Turnbull takes, it's too high, it goes out for a goal kick. Down. This would That's be harsh on Thacker, who's had a good game. And against him, when a player this goes It's going to be the left wing back, Adam Blakeman, to take the penalty. Left footed Matt Gold. How many saves has he made for the penalty spot this season? Are you ready to move him? Great save, Matt Gold! What a save! What's happening now? The referees stop play, and I think the offside. He's booked Marcus Carver. I don't even know what's happening. The ref, I have no idea what's happening. That's, is that his third or fourth penalty That's save this his, season? Uh, it's his fourth. Oh, Levin fourth Chester penalty save in the league this season. And now a massive moment, not in only in this game, but the, the ramifications for the entire season. But Kenny Boxall just uh, reminding the fans to stay off the pitch after the game. This could be a real... There's news there's coming in. Missing. Surely have missed the penalty. Well, look at the players on the pitch now for County. They don't know what the, the fans are cheering They for. might be imagining that's a Spennymore goal. It's not. But it's still nil-nil up in the <laughs> northeast. That's oh. the, Chris, you said it. It'll be the biggest cheer of the day. Well. News from elsewhere has caused the biggest cheer of the day. Surely have missed from 12 yards. Oh. When something like that happens, you just wonder. You just wonder. Is it going to be your day? Is it going to be your week? Is it going to be your season? My word, you're getting put through the rigor today. <laughs> Throw in the spinning mirror. Chandler's throwing down the line, just kind of bubbled off Carver's knee. Broken tips. Taylor trying to bring it down. He's gone down looking for a foul. He hasn't got it. Newby has the ball inside. Spinning mirror's off. Danger here as he drives at the defence. Looks square, but Jake Hibbs is there to intercept. And now can he set off a counter-attack for Spennymoor? Black and white shirts flooding forwards. He looks down the line towards Ramshaw. It's a miskick from Meppen Walters, but it's gone out for a throw-in, and that alleviates some danger, at least, for Chorley. Really evenly matched the sides today, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's been... A in terms of a nil-nil, it's been a great spectacle. Already relegated. Oh! As news comes in, has there been a goal up in the northeast? I don't think it is. I don't think it is, by the way. I think that's a false alarm. You do get this, you do get this around the uh, rounds on the final day. But I think that's a false alarm. Spenny Moore at one point looked like they were born for the title, but then faded with a, with a poor march. Yeah, so there, yeah, there will be a level of frustration there, definitely. It's full-time, FC United 1, Blythe 2. It's also full-time, Bradford Park Avenue 1, York 3. One bad result, one good result for us. Brogan to deliver. In the six-yard box. It's goals! Good time! Wins it for Spenny Moore! The scenes behind that goal. There's people falling over the walls. Unbelievable scenes at the Brewery Field. The roof's come off. Spain will have won it. By the way, with 14 attempts on goal this afternoon, 12 corners. At the Nash with five attempts and four corners. County with two goals. So the Nash is nil. Now then, we are hearing more dramatic news at the moment. This could be decisive. I can tell you. Come on. County are back on top yes. of the league. 
what an atmosphere inside this ground now. What a turnaround, and it's a goal that hasn't even been scored here. Spennymoor 1, Chorley 0 is confirmed as the latest score up in the northeast. Spennymoor have taken the lead. The Hatters are back on top of the table. The title is back in County's hands. Jack, can give it away there. Out with the right, right back position. Jake Hibbs down the line looking for Hall, who's gotten away from Blakeman. Bombers away at the back, of course, if he can find him, he's turned back onto his right foot, he's got diamond with him, he's come inside to Shane Henry, who will approach edge of the area, Shane will blast it! Straight at the keeper, straight at Matt Aaron. Well, they're having half finish with a flourish, Jack. Incredible. There he is! What a win. Just listen to that. The Charlie players are on the deck, hands on heads. It probably means more to Charlie in the grand scheme of things than it does to Spennymoor, but it doesn't half feel good. Unbelievable. Break at the top of the National League North. Here at Edgley Park, there's a free kick to Curzon Ashton on the edge of the county penalty area. As it stands, the Hatters are back on top of the league. The free, uh, free kick's gone straight into the county wall. Offside against the left back McJanet. Free kick to county. The Hatters lead 2 0. Spennymoor are in front. Wow. Glenn Taylor's headed in at the far post up in the northeast in the dying seconds. What drama! Final and there whistle. goes the final whistle here. County have won 2 0. It's all about what happens up at Spennymoor now. The Moors are leading by a goal to nil. As it stands, County are top, and it's all over. It's all over at Spennymoor. County are back at the top of the league. They just need to go to bottom basement club run Eaton next weekend and get a win. And the Hatters will be crowned champions of the National League North. What drama here at Edgley Park this afternoon. But more drama up in the northeast. Glenn Taylor has scored the decisive goal this season. And when they hand out the Player of the Year awards, Chris Ridgway, I think Glenn Taylor should be on the list. <laughs> I'll give it in myself. I'll drive it in. This, uh, John, the fans are now hearing this. It's going off everywhere. Unbelievable scenes at Edgley Park. County have won here by two goals to nil. They've done what they had to do. Both goals coming in the opening 25 minutes. After five minutes, Ash Palmer drilled home from a closely uh, taken corner to give the Hatters the advantage. Then on 25 minutes, Jake Kirby's cross, picking out Matty Warburton and County's leading goal scorer, poaching at the near post to claim his 26th of the season, his first in 13. County went on, dominating the game, but couldn't add to those two goals. Elliot Osborne thought he should have had a penalty in the first half. Scott Duxby clipped the top of the bar in the second, and Darren Stevenson missed a sitter midway through the second half. But what drama up in the northeast! Surely missed a penalty through Adam Blakeman, and then Glenn Taylor for Spennymoor, popping up with a last-minute winner to put the title back in County's hands. It's all on County now. All they have to do is go to bottom of the league, Nunny, next weekend, Chris, win the game, win the title. I have to keep checking the result. I can't believe it. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I mean, talk about drama. Talk about excitement. Talk about why you follow this sport Look and why you follow Look at the this football club. This is why you do it. Oh, what scenes here at Edgley Park. What scenes, absolutely brilliant. Listen to these fans. You cannot believe it, Chris. Who this, would have written that script? This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. This is what the season has been building up to. The whole season it has been building up to this. I'm getting, my, my phone is going mad. People texting me saying it's in County's hands. Surely missing the missing the penalty, Spenny Moore hitting the post. And now one game to go. And if you, you couldn't pick it, you couldn't pick a better team to play. You always felt there might be another twist in the tail. That proved to be the case. And it's all geared up now for a title party, hopefully at Nuneaton next weekend. And surely now. Even county fans who've been used to massive disappointment 
must feel that this is the chance for their first league title in more than 50 years, Chris. John, this is quite possibly the most remarkable game I've seen at Edgeley Park. We were there in the 90s. We were there through those games. Ian Dowie own goals and Dave Jones promotion teams and, and everything else. But what we've just seen, <laughs> celebrating up in the gantry. <laughs> it's everywhere. Uh, it's just magical.